Medical school can be a long and confusing maze to navigate through, especially because of the large volume of content and the additional tasks you have. Continue watching to find out exactly what resources I use to help me with my medical school degree. Hello everyone, if you are new here, my name is Hazal and I run this channel with my best friend Liddy. We use it to document our lives to becoming doctors while sharing some student tips along the way. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys through exactly what resources I use to help me at medical school. Let's get started. Guys, question banks are going to save your life at medical school, literally. There are lots of different examples out there like PassMed, QuizMed, and even PassTest, and they all make your life 1000% easier because you don't have to make your own questions. They have a database with over 1000 questions, and for each question, there's a detailed explanation on what you need to learn from that question. Honestly guys, it is a little annoying that we don't have many past papers at medical school, but these question banks are so, so good at testing your knowledge and showing you where the gaps in your knowledge are. Basically, if you are not using a question bank, go get one ASAP and see how it changes your life for the better. I would highly recommend making your life as easy as possible, especially when the task isn't easy. For example, depending on what medical school you are at, you might need to write some essays, or in my case, a whole dissertation at one point during your medical school degree. Now, as medics, we tend not to be essay people, and I definitely am not. So it's super, super important that I make such a laborious task as easy as possible, and that's where today's sponsor, Genie, comes in. If you have ever gone to read a paper or a journal, you know that they are super information dense, difficult to read and difficult to comprehend. Genie helps with this by using AI technology to turn any PDF article or web page into a series of bullet points that are a lot easier to understand. This way you can save so much time on reading and research, be more productive and hopefully get your essay done more quickly. Honestly guys, I have been using Genie to write my dissertation and it has been super, super helpful. So make sure you check out their website using the link in the description box down below to get your 14 day free trial. At my medical school, we get given a handbook for each module. And basically this goes through everything they expect us to learn for that specific module. Now I'm not going to lie, these are usually many, many pages long and there are many topics on that list from the biggest overarching themes to the tiniest little details that might not even come up in the exam. However, it is still useful to use this handbook as a checklist as you go through each module to make sure you are learning everything you are meant to and to find any topics that you have missed. As many of you know, learning at medical school is quite independent. So it's good to use this handbook to make sure I am learning everything the university wants me to know. Now I have such a love-hate relationship with guidelines like the BNF and NICE guidelines. They are obviously very, very useful because they detail how to treat each condition and what drugs to give, etc. But they can be a little annoying because there's so many drugs you need to learn and sometimes the guidelines can be difficult to understand. Regardless, it's really good to use these guidelines because they have the most up-to-date information rather than using some information in your lecture slides that could be out of date. Medicine is changing all the time and so are guidelines. So it's super important that you use the most up-to-date resources to make sure you are not learning the incorrect information. Now I have actually never used a physical textbook at medical school, like I've never grabbed a textbook from the library, which is crazy to say out loud. But there are many online textbooks and websites that are used that are super useful. Firstly, there's the PassMed textbook, which allows you to search for any condition and goes through an explanation, signs, symptoms, risk factors, treatments, etc. There is also the Zero to Finals website, which does a similar job by providing clear and detailed explanations and covers topics that I might not be able to find on the PassMed textbook. And finally, we have the Oxford Handbook, which I have as a PDF on my iPad. This handbook covers all aspects of clinical medicine and basically, if I ever don't understand anything or I have a question, I use these free resources to top up my knowledge instead of having to go through my lecture slides which can take some time. Now I'm sure you have all heard of Geeky Medics but if you haven't it is the holy grail the best resource for the OSCE. It has everything and anything you need from written guides on how to do each examination, checklists and even video tutorials. Literally I don't know a single medical student who doesn't swear by their videos so make sure you go through them lots of times throughout the year and build up 
up on your clinical skills. Practicing throughout the year as much as possible will put you in the best position for your OSCE. And those are all the resources I use to help me study at medical school. Now, of course, this is all based on my own experience and what works for me. And remember that different things work for different people. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video where I discuss everything I regret about medical school. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in a new video next time. Bye.